following video will demonstrate the addition of the repost point of sale device to the CatVision software. This is a simple integration which requires no special setups. Once your repo system is up and running, all further steps occur within CatVision. Integration steps occur within the Setup tab under Configure Servers. To get there, open CatVision, then open the site that you want to work on. Right click on one of the site's open tabs and select Setup. Within the Setup tab, click on Configure Servers, then click on Integration Devices under the server you will be adding the device to. In the Integration Devices panel, click on New Device, select the Repost Driver, and click Next. Give your integration device a descriptive name. The next step is to add the individual tills. There are two ways to do this. The first is via direct serial cable connection to the server, and the second method is via a Cathexis ESP1204 Ethernet device. The ESP allows you to attach serial connections to the network. The connection in this example will be a direct serial connection, and we will be leaving the settings at their default. After adding your desired number of tills, click on Finish to complete the addition process. The tills will appear in the Object Configuration tab on the first transaction after their addition to the CatVision software. Under this tab, you may edit the properties of each device, such as which side cameras are associated with the till and the CatVision access levels associated with this till. The Object Properties tab will list relevant properties of each till object. This information includes the object's name, its online offline status, the last time the object sent information to CatVision, and its licensing status. The Device Events tab will show a stream of all events occurring on the added device. The next step is to add an integration database and attach it to your new device. To add a new integration database, click on Configure Integration Databases. This will open the Integration Database Setup dialog. Once in here, click on New, then select the Repost Driver from the drop-down menu. Define the size of your database next, and give it a descriptive name. Click on OK, and close the Integration Database Setup dialog. Back in the General tab, if you click on the COGS icon next to Select Integration Database, you will see your newly added database in the dialog that appears. Select it and click on OK. Your database has been successfully added and attached to your integration. You may now open your integration device. This is done by right-clicking on a tab, hovering your mouse over Open tab and selecting your device from the drop-down menu. The device will open in a new tab and you will see an interface with three panels. The one on the left will list all till devices. The one in the middle will show the feed from the camera that has been associated with the selected till and the panel on the right will show the details of the current transaction as it occurs. You may also view your events in the integration database. Access the database in the same way that you access the other tabs, by right-clicking on the Site tab and selecting Database from the Open tab menu. You may use the database filter to filter out all but one specific till, and when you have found the event that you are interested in, you may view the associated footage.